Bro. <laughs> Moya, hurt. I'm already recording. Take two. Hello, Jacket listeners. I am Rihanna, and I... <laughs> and I'm Aubrey. Hi, Jackets. Take two, or three. Hello, hey, Jacket, jacket listeners. listeners. I am Brianna. And I'm Aubrey. Hey, Jackets. We're going to be interviewing one of our favorite teachers here at FJH, and he is one of the leaders in our program, Jiddo. Which is Jackets in the Outdoors. He's the magical, the mysterious, the musical, Mr. Johns. Hey, Mr. Johns, how are you doing today? What's up, y'all? Today, we'll be asking and talking about the program. So let's get started. The first question is, how do you feel about being, how do you feel about, like, this is your first year, how do you feel about it? I'm super excited. Uh, I think it's going to be a great year, and I'm just excited to go learn and be a part of the program and see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Now the second question is, why did he choose to be a Jitto teacher? I chose to be a Jitto teacher because I love being in the outdoors and just having fun going rock climbing and going camping and just being all outside and doing all those exciting things. Mm -hmm. uh, another question we have is, what is your animal or ranger name? And yeah, what's your uh, animal and ranger name? So my ranger name is Jumping Spider Johns because I run around the hall and I'll do heel clicks <laughs> and I'm just super goofy like that. So Another question we have is, what did you think about it last year? So I thought that it was a awesome opportunity. I wasn't, obviously I wasn't a part of it last year, but I thought it was a really cool opportunity for all the kids. And so I really wanted to be a part of it this year. Uh, how do you feel about spending more time with your students away from school? I'm really, really excited. Uh, I get to do it a lot because of bands, so I'm really excited to do that in a different setting with the outdoor program. So I'm excited to do that with camping and fishing and all the cool, exciting stuff that we get to do this year. Uh huh. Another question is, how do you feel about spending the weekend camping with kids? I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for the kids to get to do it because I know that there's a lot of students in the program that ne that haven't gotten to do it necessarily in the past. So I'm excited to teach them about it and see them get to do it for maybe the first time. And so mm -hmm. just getting to see them do that and experience it and just go and hang out and have fun with them. It's going to be really exciting. Um, what do you what do you see for the future? What do you see for the future of the program? Well, hopefully we continue to grow, not just student-wise, but um, what, a, what, a, what all we do in the program. So I know of a lot of stuff. I've, I have a really close friend that uh, does an outdoor program in Colorado, and I think it would be really cool to be able to take the program to Colorado or just anywhere outside of where we're at and the stuff that we do. and be able to experience the outdoors not just in Texas but in places all over the United States. Yeah, yeah. that'd be really cool. So what are some of your goals as a Jitto teacher? I just want to learn more. So I know I'm not necessarily an expert but I want to learn more about the outdoors and just have fun with all the kids. So I think it'd, I think that's my biggest goal is just to learn and experience the outdoors. Um, what are you most excited about for Jackets in the Outdoors this year? So one of my biggest, my, one of my favorite things in outdoors in general is just rock climbing. So I'm excited to go ro rock climbing for our indoor rock climbing trip. And then um, I'm really excited to go on our outdoor rock climbing trip. I've never gone outdoor rock climbing before, so I'm excited mm -hmm. to actually get to do that this year. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to tell people that were joining in just like you, what would you like to tell them? Just do it. Um, I know... A lot of the stuff in the outdoors can be scary, especially if you've never do it or done it before. But just go and experience. Go try it. And there's so many people that are going to be around you that are there to support you and try new things. So go and try new things. And if it's not your thing, there's going to be something else that's probably your thing. And you can go and try that instead. So we're going fishing. If you don't like fishing, there's rock climbing. If you don't like fishing, there's or rock climbing, you can go camping or if you don't like that, you can go mountain biking. There's so many things that you can experience in the outdoors, and 
I'm really excited for everyone to just go and try it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, just go try stuff. Um, so what do you think about how we're going canoeing and stuff? I'm super excited about that. I went kayaking with my family a lot whenever I was growing up. So I'm really, really excited to go do all of that stuff. So whenever we go geocaching, do you think you're going to get lost? No. I love geocaching. I did it all the time last year. I love geocaching. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like, what are you, like, not scared about, but, like, like worried about, like, what we're doing, like, geocaching, or, like, what do you think your, like, your best one will be, and what do you think, like, your one that you won't do as good as? Okay, so, <laughs> this is a little secret, and only the people in this room and the people that listen to the podcast are going to know. I'm actually terrified of, like, holding fish. So, so when we go fishing, fish. <laughs> I'm that's that's another one of my big goals is to really like actually hold fish and not like c- kind of overcome that fear of holding fish. So, going fishing is going to be like the number like I'm cool with like going fishing and mm-hmm. doing all the stuff except for like holding the fish that I catch. Like I sh- I don't like the feeling of it. I like I know they flop around a bunch. It's like it's, it's a weird feeling to me. I'm not scared of fish. I just don't like the feeling of it. So <laughs> I want to overcome, like just holding fish. So that's that's one of my things. So like, if you caught a fish and it was already dead and you like hold it thinking it's still alive, what would you do? <laughs> uh, I I if I was thinking it was still alive, I just I would just think it was. I just think it would still feel, it would just feel weird. I don't. I just don't like the feeling of it. Like the texture of fish is yeah. weird to me. That's the only thing. Like I don't. I'm not scared of them. I'm not terrified of them. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think they're a creepy animal or anything. Like I just think they feel weird. So like, like I will touch them and whatever. Like I just don't think. I don't like to hold them in my hands. So <laughs> that's it. Um, uh, another question is like. Whenever, like, we go camping and stuff, um, what's, like, your main thing that you want to do while, we camping, while we're camping? S'mores. I love s'mores. <laughs> s'mores are my favorite. Miss Robinson had s'mores in her room yesterday, and mm-hmm. I ran there when she said that there were s'mores. So, yeah, I love s'mores. Um, just sitting around the campfire, hanging out with everybody and talking is probably the best, best part about camping. So, yeah, that's probably my favorite. So, like... Last year when we went, like, last year when we went camping at the end of the year, the s'mores, oh, they were good, though, like, for real. But, like, another thing is, like, how do you think you're going to do sleeping in a tent, like, by yourself? Well, I've I've gone camping plenty of times by myself, so I'm not really worried about it. I've done it enough to where I know how I can do and what to pack and bring, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so I, I like it. I like it plenty. Uh, what are you guys excited about for this year in the in the program? Mm, I'm pretty excited about going rock climbing again because last year I was like one of the top best and probably Girl. canoeing. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready for the like kayak or canoeing, whatever it's called, and I'm excited for the rock climbing indoors because I think my cousin works there, so I'm excited mm-hmm. for that one. What are you guys scared about this year? Well, like the person that holds the rope the something it starts with the b but the belayer the belayer mm-hmm. i'm scared that like because our friends our peers they belay us sometimes mm-hmm. and i'm scared like they're gonna let go of the rope and i'm gonna go like crashing down onto the ground mm-hmm. yeah uh for me it's probably like whenever we go like geocaching and stuff it might be like because i get like sidetracked a lot so i feel like i'm gonna get lost <laughs> Just because I won't be paying attention. Yeah. But you have the GPS, so it'll help you out. You'll be all good. Yeah. And if not, we'll someone else in your group will help you out. Yeah. 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 Or you can just listen for my voice. I'll be yelling and running around. <laughs> so you just find me and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so that's all the questions we have for Mr. Johns today. Make sure you check out our social media. We're on Instagram. The account names are FerrisJH underscore Jitto. And make sure that you and make sure you check them out. Until, Until next time. Bye. Peace out.